In this problem, we have a hypothesis test for a mean. Let's go ahead and read through the question. A data set about speed dating includes like ratings of male dates made by the female dates. The summary statistics are n equals 191. n is always our sample size. So n is equal to 191. x bar, that's the sample mean, that's equal to 6.82. And then S, that's equal to 2.02. .02. That's our sample standard deviation. S is the symbol for sample standard deviation. Use a 0.01 significance level, that's going to be our alpha, to test the claim that the population mean of such ratings is less than 7. Okay, so we're going to start by writing down our null and alternate hypotheses. So in this case, the symbol is mu because it's talking about a population mean. So mu. And then it says less than 7. So less than 7. And then here, it's always equals. So mu equals 7. All right, steps 2 and 3, we do them with the software. So now we have to figure out which stack crunch command to use. Well, recall that whenever you're given the population standard deviation in a problem, concerning a mean, you use z. And if they don't give it to you, so if you have no population standard deviation, you use t. So most of the time, pretty much almost all of the time for us, it's going to be t. In this case, this is the sample standard deviation, so we're going to use t. Right? They didn't give us the population standard deviation. The symbol for the population standard deviation is sigma. So it has to say population standard deviation, or you have to see the symbol. And, and one of those two things has to happen for you to use z. Otherwise, you just use t. OK, let's go ahead and get the answers to steps two and three. So we'll click on question help and go to stat crunch. Good stuff. I'm going to click on this little arrow here to make it bigger. All right, and we go to stat, t stats one sample with summary. Then you left click. Okay, so the sample mean. So the sample mean, that's x bar, so 6.82. Type that in, 6.82. The sample standard deviation, that's s, so 2.02. .02. And the sample size is 191. This is a hypothesis test. Yep, so we have the right box checked. Looks like we have to enter the number 7 here. And then there's a less than symbol here, so I'll pick less than here. Everything looks good. We have our x bar, that's 6.82, sample standard deviation, 2.02, .02. sample size, 191. Looks good. Click Compute. And there we have all of the answers. So the test statistic is negative 1.23. That's t. That's our t stat. So t is negative 1.23. And our p value in this case value is 0 0.1098. All right, step four, we have to decide whether or not to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So if the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject. If it's bigger, we fail to reject. So in this case, our p-value is bigger than our alpha, so we fail to reject h sub zero. All right, now we can do step five, which is our interpretation. So we always start our interpretations the same way. We start by mentioning the level of significance. So at the, this time it's 0.01, so we'll say 1% level of significance. And now we have to decide if there is or there is not sufficient evidence to support our claim, which is H1. So whenever you reject H sub 0, there is sufficient evidence to support H1. We fail to reject, so there is not. There is not. Just memorize it, I guess. Reject, there is. Reject, there is. Fail to reject, there is not. So fail to reject, there is not sufficient evidence. I'll put suff evidence to claim that 
h1 is true. So what is h1? Well, h1 in this case is the last sentence. It's here too, mu less than 7, but we can just read it here. The population mean of such ratings is less than 7. So the population, put pop mean of such ratings is less than Wow, barely fit it, seven. All right, let's go ahead and answer the homework question. Um, so it looks like this is gonna be the first one, right? It matches what we have, so check answer, let's try it. Yes, nice work. Determine the test statistic. Well, we've already done that. So it's gonna be negative 1.23. Let's try it, yes. Determine the p-value, it wants three decimal places. That's kind of weird. Um, our p-value with four decimals was 0.1098. So if we round that to three decimals, this not this eight rounds the nine, which rounds the zero. So it's going to be 0 0.110, zero, kind of a weird uh, rounding. Let's try it. Here we go. 0 0.110. Yes. And this is state the final conclusion that addresses the original claim. So we fail to reject h sub zero. Nice, it's one of the choices. And in this case, there is not sufficient evidence. So not sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean of the population ratings is less than 7. So everything matches what we have written down, which is really nice. Let's click check answer. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.